Girl Krista Kenny back again with another video. As you can tell from the title below, I'm here to react to Corday Chronicles featuring her and Little Dirk. Um, I haven't listened to Corday's project yet. Now I know it released on Friday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Thursday, and um, I haven't listened to it yet. And honestly, outside of the blogs, like, posting the numbers, I haven't heard nobody talking about it. Like, I haven't heard the streets talking about it. I haven't heard Twitter talking about it. Even this video, it was premiered 21 hours ago, and it only has 200,000 views. Like, that's actually pretty bad. When you just drop the project, normally the videos, they do a million in the first 24 regularly, or at least, at least 800. Um, 800K, of course. But, I don't know, I fuck with Corday. Like, I'm just not gonna not tap in. I just haven't tapped into the album yet, but the video just dropped. I didn't even know he had a song with her and Lil Durk on there. And I'm gonna tap in, I'm gonna check it out, I'm gonna see what it's talking about, and I'm gonna see if this makes me wanna go listen to the album more. I feel like when I listened to his freestyle on LA Leakers, I was very intrigued. Then I saw the cover art to the album and it reminded me so much of Lost Boy. And I was like, I just don't want to be back in that vibe. Like when I listened to Lost Boy, when I listened to it when it first came out, I was there mentally with it. Like I was going through a lot of the shit that he was going through. So it made sense. But like right now, my mental health is so important to me. I just don't want to listen to anything that's going to lower that or drag it down. And I feel like... That album cover makes me feel like it's going to be a sad album. Like, it doesn't... It gives... Corday is, like, cold in so many ways. And I feel like a lot of Cole's albums, for me, I can't listen back because that shit really makes me sad. Like, I don't want to be sad and depressed. Like, I don't want to be happy. So, unfortunately, even though Corday and Cole are very lyrical and musically inclined and extremely talented i sometimes have to protect my mental health and my happiness and just not tap in to the music sometimes because it's just so sad but i'm gonna tap in um to this song chronicles hopefully it's not a super sad song because if it is then i'm really not tapping into the album i will eventually tap into corday's album i just haven't done it yet and this song is really gonna determine on if when I'm driving today, if I put it on or not. So yeah, not gonna do too much talking. Well, I be talking. <laughs> Let's get right into this video. If you are not already subscribed to the channel, I need you to stop what you're doing. I need you to go right underneath this video, click that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications, and don't forget to like this video. It's your girl, Chris Kink. If you left me now, I know I'm far regret it. My ring light just stopped working, being weird. This beat five. I'm on a sprout, and I'm not sure where my heart is headed. Twice that I'm indebted. I love Corday and her on a record together. Like all of their songs together hit, so I have no I have no bad intentions for the song. Like I feel like the song is gonna be really good. And even just hearing how he started off, I see the vibes. It's gonna be more of like a love song, so I fuck with that. And I hope Dirk is singing on this song. If Dirk is singing on this song, I'm gonna really love it. Telling you what's on my mind, don't use my thoughts as leverage. Dead ass. Like, if I tell you something in confidence because I'm opening up to you, do not be a weirdo and use that shit against me later on. Like, I told you that because I trusted you. I was getting to know you. I, I opened up to you. Don't make me regret that shit, please. <laughs> like, when we first met, we was lost, so it's for real. Ooh, her. Her's really a bad bitch, okay? Like, let's be very clear. Her's really a bad bitch. Y'all just don't be giving her her credit for being a bad bitch because she's calm and she don't be like promoting herself like that but it's just like her gives face her gives body her is a look like she's a look i promise i'm gonna stay no matter where we left it i swear i'm the bitch that's gonna ride or die ride or die ride or die and i'm a 
done rolled and died. I done rolled and died and I done rolled and died. But I'ma keep riding and I'm, if I die, I'ma die. But I'ma ride till the wheels fall off, okay? That's just me though. You wanna go, but just make sure we stay connected. If you busy, you gotta move out of the city for a little bit, do whatever you gotta do. Cool, just make sure we stay connected. If you solid with me, we good. We good. This is perfect for Derek. Like, he just got engaged. He better be talking about India. He gonna say India, watch. You tell me I spend my time with all my guys. No, we don't spend time. He's gonna be the same one that's gonna kill for you. Facts. Like, if your men's men's don't, won't kill or protect for you, then is that even your men's men's? Like, if you really rock with my men's, you gonna, you supposed to kill for me. Like, cause you gonna kill for him and I'm a part of him and... He loved me. We we locked in. So like you gonna kill for him, you have to kill for what he loves and what makes him happy. Which is me. So yeah. I get that line. I get the bar. If you left me now, I know I'm far regretted. If you left me now, I know I'm far regretted. I like it. It should have a lot more views. It should. It's a good video. I'm not gonna hold you. Like, it's a really good video. It should have a lot more views. Um, I don't know if the promotion on his team... Honestly, the promotion on his team is terrible. Whoever is, like, promoting this album is doing a terrible, terrible, terrible job. When LA Leakers... Okay, like, when he did LA Leakers and he did the Breakfast Club interview... I didn't even watch the Breakfast Club interview. I just saw it pop up, but I honestly didn't watch the Breakfast Club interview with him... But I know I watched LA Leakers and I feel like even with LA Leakers, I don't remember him saying a date or that the project was gonna drop. I remember him saying the project is coming soon, but I don't remember like when court when I dropped the LA Leakers freestyle, y'all in the comments told me that it was dropping on Friday, but I didn't know that from watching it. Like his team is doing a terrible job promoting this album. So that's probably why this doesn't have a lot of views, but it's a great song. It's a cool little video, like it's a nine for me. Like I, I'm gonna play this song back. I know that this song has a replay value. It has relatability. It has a great melody. It has a good chorus. Each person did what they were supposed to do. Her, Dirk, and um, Corday. Like everybody did what they were supposed to do. Shit, it's a ten. I'm gonna give this song a ten. I'm gonna give the video a ten too. Like. It was really good. I can't believe the views are so low. Corday, your team has to do better. Like, your team has to do a lot better. And I just feel like, you know, you did LA Leakers, you did Breakfast Club, and I think you did another, I saw you on another station or something like that, but like, you should have been outside a little bit more before you drop this project. But that's not your body. That's not your body. Do you? You feel me? Let the music speak for itself. The music's good. This is a good song. And I probably am going to listen to the album today for him. So, yeah. I fuck with it. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to cap you down. It's a good little vibe. Comment below. Tell me your thoughts on this video. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's your girl, Chris Kinney.